Welcome mathematicians. In today's video we'll be looking at state matrices. It's one of our many matrices videos we've got to consider. So let's have a look. Our scenario, straight into it. There's a group of 200 kids who are committed to playing both tennis and cricket every summer. A sports program is set up to offer these kids the opportunity to play both. It is noticed from other similar programs that the following trend occurs amongst the kids. So what we find is, of those who play tennis in one season, 65% will play tennis the next season. That is, 65% will be retained to the sport of tennis. Of those who play cricket one season, 55% will play cricket the next season. Note, those who don't play the same sport each season transition to the alternative sport. So we've got 65% who play tennis one season will play tennis the next season. The remaining 35 to make up 100% transition from tennis to cricket. And the same with the 55% who play cricket one season will play cricket the next season. That means that the remaining 45% will transition from cricket into tennis. So task number one is to construct a transition table to represent the scenario. So this is purely a recap of the skills of transition matrices. Please give this a go. Can you complete this transition table based on the data we have available? So here we have it. The transition this season from tennis to tennis is 65% or 0.65 is the decimal. And the transition from tennis to cricket is 0.35. The transition from cricket this season to tennis next season is 0.45. And the transition from cricket this season into cricket next season is 0.55. Note that vertically these columns have to add up to 1. They are a probability distribution. Task number 2. Complete the transition diagram to represent this scenario. Pause if you like, give it a go. Okay, we see that tennis to tennis from one season of tennis into the next season of tennis was 0.65 or 65%. Cricket, transitioning back into cricket was 55% or 0.55 is a decimal. The transition from tennis to cricket from each season, tennis to cricket was 35% or 0.35 is a decimal. And from cricket to tennis, cricket this season to tennis the next season is 0.45 or 45 percent finally can you please construct the transition matrix to show the scenario and of course it takes exactly the same decimals and places into a transition matrix okay so we have 0 0.65 0 0.35 in the first column 0.45 and 0.55 in the second column note we don't bother with the labeling although sometimes it's handy to write these above and to the right of our transition matrix just for checking. So our scenario. In the initial year of the program, that is 2020, there are 100 kids playing tennis and 100 kids playing cricket. Task number two, construct an initial state matrix S0 for the year 2020. Okay, so here we have S0, 100 and 100. So this is constructing an initial state matrix. The top represents the 100 kids playing tennis in 2020 and the bottom represents the 100 kids playing cricket in 2020. Task 3. Use the recurrence relation Sn plus 1 equals T, the transition, times Sn to calculate the number of kids playing either sport in 2021. So this is calculating the next term. It's a recurrence relation like we did with our financial maths. So here's our expression. The next state is equal to the transition matrix multiplied by the current state. So we want to work out what's the number of kids playing either sport next year based on this year's current model. So S0 represented our 2020 data, and the next year is 2021 S1. So there we go, there's our transition matrix, and there's our data for 2020, our initial state data. We multiply them together, we can work out our predicted value for S1, the 2021 year. Multiplying them together, we end up with 110 kids playing tennis in 2021, and 90 playing cricket. The end result is that 10 of the cricket players have transitioned to tennis. Task number four, use the recurrence relation once again to calculate the number of kids playing either sport in 2022. Here's our recurrence relation. Now, what we're going to do this time is take our 2021 state matrix and use that by multiplying it to the transition matrix to work out our state two, our 2022 matrix. So here's our data, our transition matrix, and here's our data from 2021. Multiplying them together, we find that in the year 2022, following this transition matrix, there'll be 112 kids playing tennis in 2022 and only 88 playing cricket in 2022. Task number five, we want to use this rule, Sn is equal to T to the power of N times S naught to calculate the number of kids playing either sport in 2025. Now, instead of working out the next step in the sequence, we're actually jumping years ahead. So we're calculating for any value of N. 
Here's our general expression. This is our initial state matrix, and we can work out after five transitions, 10 transitions, 20 transitions if we like, using this equation. So we're trying to work out the number of kids playing in 2025 compared to what they were in 2020. So first of all, let's have a look. We've got from 2020, the initial state, we're now calculating the value for 2025. I always think about it in terms of the number of transitions is the easiest way to clear my mind on this. So from 2020 to 2021, that's one transition. From 21 to 22, that's two transitions. 22 to 23, that's three transitions. 23 to 24, that's four transitions. And finally, 24 to 25 is five transitions. So transition five means we raise our transition matrix to the power of five. So here we have it. Here's our transition matrix raised to the power of five and our initial state matrix. Multiply them together. We end up after five transitions, that is the year 2025, we have 112.946 kids playing tennis and 87.5048. That's not rounding at all, obviously. Task six, calculate the long-term or what we call the steady state matrix for this arrangement. So to do this, we want to compare some future states a mile down the track. And so typically the textbooks we use, and I encourage you to use, the state after 50 transitions and the state after 51 transitions. So first of all, the state after 50 transitions. Here's our transition matrix raised to the power of 50. Here's our initial state matrix. And after 50 transitions, we have 112.5 kids playing tennis and 87.5 playing cricket. Let's now have a look at the 51st transition. Same thing, we take our transition matrix, we raise the power of 51 and multiply it by the initial state, and we also get 112.5 and 87.5. This tells us that the state after 50 transitions is equal to the state after 51. So we have reached our long-term or our steady state, or what may be called an equilibrium matrix. Simply calculating the state after 50 transitions doesn't guarantee that we've reached our steady state. We have to compare two consecutive state matrices. So 50 and 51, one after the other, have exactly the same numbers. At that point, we realize we have a long-term or a steady state, or what we call an equilibrium matrix. So in the long term, we have 112.5 kids playing tennis and 87.5 kids playing cricket. Please note, this doesn't mean that the kids aren't transitioning after the 50th and 51st transition. Rather, the same number of kids are transitioning from tennis to cricket as there are cricket to tennis. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's given you some context of how we can use a transition matrix and the state matrix to make forecasts using either a recurrence relation or a long time rule. If you've enjoyed this and learned something from it, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.